Hello guys and girls, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about nested stacks. Uh, so in a lot of real life scenario, uh, you have to reuse one template uh, in multiple stacks. Uh, let's say for example, you have a, a CloudFormation template to create web server EC2. Uh, maybe you are uh, referencing a specific AMI, a specific security group, specific user data, and then um, you want to spin up this web server EC2 from multiple uh, templates. So instead of copy pasting and coding this uh, EC2 in all those different CloudFormation templates, uh, you can just create this common EC2 template and then uh, refer it from multiple stacks. So uh, nested stacks can contain other nested stacks uh, and using nested stacks to declare common component is considered best practice. Uh, so if you think about it uh, regarding that EC2 web server example, uh, if you copy paste the same code in let's say five different CloudFormation templates and then there is a change happening, uh, let's say the AMI of the EC2 needs to be changed or the security group needs to be changed, uh, you have to go and change all those five templates. However, if you use nested stacks, you just go and change the common web server EC2 template, and then uh, the rest of those other five templates uh, can remain same. So just talking a little bit about the flow, uh, how it works is you put the common template, we call it nested stack uh, in an S3 bucket, and then you get a URL uh, for, this for this nested stack. And then uh, from the other stack, let's say we call it main stack, uh, you can call the nested stack uh, using the S3 URL. And then in reality, when you have a common nested stack, uh, you can call it from multiple uh, stacks. Okay, so uh, pretty handy. This is used a lot actually uh, in enterprises. Uh, so let's jump into a demo. So how this is gonna go is I'm going to show you a simple nested stack using S3. And then we are going to uh, explore a couple of other advanced things such as uh, passing parameters to nested stack, etc. Uh, we are going to create a S3 bucket in one of the template and then uh, call that template from another template. So remember this flow, uh, the nested stack uh, resides in an S3 bucket and then it's called from the main stack using URL. Uh, so you will see this in action. Okay, so this is the straightforward uh, CloudFormation template uh, to spin up S3 bucket, and then we are outputting the bucket name uh, in the output section. So I have this Udemy CDK bucket, uh, so I'm going to upload the file in this bucket. Okay, s3cft.yaml. Okay, let's copy the, so this is the URL of the object, so let's copy this copy link address. Okay, we are going to go back to our IDE. Okay, so this is the main stack. Uh, so if you see uh, the resources section, uh, the type of the resource is actually AWS colon colon cloud formation colon colon stack. Uh, so generally here we used uh, resources as EC2, S3, Lambda, etc. cetera. Uh, but if you have to call another stack, uh, we use this CloudFormation clone clone stack. So under the properties, uh, you have this template URL, and this is where we pasted uh, the link of our nested stack. And this timeout is how much time uh, is allowed in minutes uh, for this nested stack to execute. Uh, so we put it as 60 minutes. Uh, now another thing to note is uh, I also want to output uh, the S3 bucket name from the main stack. So if I put this side by side, so you can see that left side is the main stack, right side is the nested stack. Okay, so you can see there are two outputs uh, I'm doing. Okay, so I'm outputting two things on the main stack. Uh, one is the stack reference, uh, which is just outputting the nested call. Uh, so this is basically gonna link to uh, the CloudFormation as ARN of the nested stack. So this will become clear when we run this. However, this is this output from nested stack uh, is the interesting one. Uh, what we are doing with this one is it's getting the value uh, from this nested call uh, 
and we are picking up the output from this nested cow. So what it does is it actually uh, goes to the nested stack and gets this nested call dot outputs. This outputs is basically the outputs of the nested stack. And then it gets the bucket name, which is this field uh, bucket name. So if I change this bucket name to, uh, let's say, um, bucket name X, I have to change it to bucket name X. Okay, so uh, makes sense. So now uh, let's run this uh, template. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to CloudFormation console. Okay, I'm going to click create stack uh, with new resources. Okay, then I'm gonna upload a template file. Uh, note that I'm just going to upload the template for the main stack uh, because main stack calls the nested stack using the S3 URL in it. Okay, well, I'm gonna choose nested calling S3. Okay, click next, click next. Okay, I have to give a stack name. Nested S3 creation. Okay, click next. Okay, we don't have anything uh, related to IAM in this one. Click create stack. Okay, so uh, there will be one interesting things here. There are two stacks that's in progress, right? So this nested S3 creation is the main stack and it called this nested stack. And you can see this uh, bold caps nested label for this stack. So this stack is what's actually creating the S3 bucket. Uh, so if I click the resources, so this created this S3 bucket and now it returned back the output to nested S3 creation. So if we click this, it's done. Uh, so let's go to the output section. So remember we had two output. One is the stack reference, which just uh, gives the CloudFormation uh, ARN for the nested stack. Uh, however, the actual S3 bucket name is this one, right? So that's the one that we uh, saw in the code, uh, this, this output from nested stack. So a couple of extra steps to do this uh, nested. However, uh, nothing, nothing like rocket science. So now we are going to demo how you can pass parameters uh, to a nested stack. By the way, uh, these lectures are part of my uh, CloudFormation CDK with DevOps and interview guide course. Uh, so if you guys and girls are interested uh, learning these subjects, uh, feel free to check out my course. I will give a discounted link in the description of this video. All right, back into the other demo. Okay, let's jump into the code. Okay, so on the right, uh, we have the SNS template. Uh, so we use this template in one of the other lectures as well. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, so I input the email address for the SNS and then uh, we use it to create this SNS topic uh, using the email. Um, so here the input parameter is this SNS email. Okay, so let's say uh, on the right side, this one is going to be the nested stack this time. And the left is the main stack, which is gonna call the nested stack. Uh, so see in this one, we also have a parameter and the name of the parameter is email address uh, type string. And then uh, we are asking for this email. Then let's come to the resources section. Uh, we have this as nested call. Uh, type is the stack. Uh, properties, uh, now this is the new section, this parameters, right? Uh, so pretty straightforward actually. Uh, so what's happening is uh, it's saying, hey, for this nested call, uh, for parameters for that nested stack, uh, the parameter name is SNS email, which is same as this nested stack, uh, refer email address that I am taking as input, right? So makes sense. So again, this parameter name under this nested call is the exact parameter name that you have in the nested stack. Okay, and then you refer uh, the input parameter like as usual, nothing fancy about that uh, because this email address parameter is in the same uh, CloudFormation template. 
Uh, this template URL is to be decided. Once I upload uh, the nested stack to S3, we are gonna paste the um, uh, URL. So another interesting thing is, look at this, that this nested stack is actually written in JSON. However, the main stack is written in YAML. So you can mix and match, it doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, let's upload this SNS parameter example uh, to S3. So we are going to reuse the same bucket, click upload, click add files. Okay, SNS parameter example.json. Okay, click this. Uh, let's get the URL. Okay, going back to the template, just gonna put the URL. Okay, save this template. Okay, let's go back to CloudFormation. Uh, click Create Stack, uh, upload a template file, choose file. Okay, nested calling SNS parameter.yaml. Click next, stack name. SNS with parameter, how about that? Okay, so now this is the parameter. This email address field is actually coming from the main stack. So I'm just gonna give a random email address. Our cloud formation is best at the rate udemy.com. How about that? Okay, click next. Okay, we don't have anything related to IAM in this stack. Let's click create stack. So similarly, you should see two stack. Uh, one is for the nested stack, which is gonna create the SNS. So here you go. This is the nested stack uh, creating the SNS. And then uh, as soon as that's done, this uh, the main root stack will um, finish as well. Okay, so it's complete. Uh, so if you click the nested stack, uh, click resources, uh, this will show the ARN of the SNS that's created. And if you click the main stack, it's gonna give you the ARN for the nested stack. Okay, so that's that's it, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, so you will actually encounter this a lot if you work in an enterprise. Um, so think of, think through uh, all the common uh, infrastructure that you have to spin up on multiple scenarios, especially a particular EC2 or a particular um, Lambda. Hopefully this demo was helpful explaining uh, the concepts of nested stack. All right, guys and girls, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.